All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Tremendicon! Alright, and next up we have Chloe and Bella as Spidey 
Penguin and Sally. All the way under the sea, we got Kathy as Squidward. 
You, yep, you. Okay. All right, let's do. Um, hot dog man, can you close your ears? Can you like call or something? <laughs> Perfect. Not in the category. Not in the category. <laughs> I'm trying to cut the case. <laughs> Alright, first answer. Have a seat. 
I need another question. PG question. I'll go over to you here. What would you do at night? What would you do at night? Uh, Alright, what would you just number do? Number one, do at night. I like to take long, long, peaceful rides on my motorcycle. Kisses yeah. number two. Unfortunately, I'm usually tied up hunting some creatures of other species. All right, back up, pop up. I'm getting stuck for me. We don't get to know what you do at night. Oh, okay. Well, he's trying to guess. No, I know. Beetlejuice, what do you do? Wait, what's the question? What do you do at night? PG, Beetlejuice, PG. Wait around, wait for somebody to call me. Call you three times. Alright, Pop Pac Man. I'm getting my steps in. Pop Pac Man, any more guesses? Uh, okay, I forgot their name. Is contestant number two the Fallout Nurse? Uh, Unfortunately, no. that's incorrect. You have one more guess for contestant number one. <laughs> Can we get a repeat for your answer for the last question? What do you do? Adam? Take long, peaceful rides on my motorcycle, of course. Hot dog man. Hot dog's wondering who rides a motorcycle. No motorcycle in here. Wow! No motorcycle in horse? Do you enjoy it? Hey, so, let's go over the answers. The ideal first date was, I have to remember your answer, sunset flight over Santa Carlo Boardwalk and finishing off with some Chinese food. And the next one was genre of music, 80s hair metal. I also added the saxophone. Is it the Lost Boys? That is the Lost Boys! Alright, and finally to end our season, the person you did not get was... Lady Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. Alright, Hot Dog Man, these lovely people in front of you, you have to go on one lovely day with. Who would it have to be and why? PG, please. <laughs> please. There are children in the audience, Hot Dog Man. We're recording this. Not a panic. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's just not. If you would like to. Take it that day. Alright. Next. I'm sorry, I didn't read the book. Uh, so that means. Match made in heaven, hot dog man. Lost boy. I'm sure you got some derivative of one. You guys are welcome to turn back to. Drink his hot dog blood. The corner. Go. You're not in the All right. Thank you. Here we go. Okay. Got to use some liberation. See, the thing about cosplay contests is most of what goes into winning on stage is normally figured out during prejudging when the costume, when the judges can get a really close look at all of your work, see what you made, see what you altered. But then stage presence plays also a really big role. So if you get up here and you really show your character, that can really make you farther in this competition. So how we're going to do this is we're going to start with our youth. I will have you all stand up and I think we have the prizes. So, when we call you guys up, you'll get your prize, stand here, get a couple pictures, and we're going to stand off to the side over here, and then we'll do a group picture, and then we'll go from Is that good to you guys? Alright, in third place, in the youth category, is Drumroll, please. The Demon Slayer! 
with you guys. You'll throw that? Okay, and I would like to say real quick, we did do a mess up. Your judges' choice, you will be getting awards later on, little certificates, but we did not have them. Let's say, we did not mean to like, here you go, take it back. You will be a bit of a mix up. My bad. All right, so I believe this is what we've all been waiting for. This is the adult category. In third place, and I think this would be dead time. In third place, we have. Thank <laughs> you. 